Pino. Oh, jeez. Look out! What is Stay happening? Back. Why is this monster attacking us? I can't shoot now. What do you mean you can't shoot now? Shoot it in the head. Iggy! I said stay back! Shoot it! So you know what? I gotta hand it to this game. The very first thing you see when you pop into the main menu of it is an adorable doggo staring at you from the inside of a van. Welcome to the Red Lantern. So this game actually threw a bit of a curveball at me. I saw a trailer of this before it released, and I thought I was in for, you know, a typical first-person survival game, you know. Essentially, think of it as the Long Dark. That's what I thought when I first saw it. I was like, oh, okay, it's gonna be like a Long Dark game, except you have like a dog sled team, which is actually kind of cool. However, I took it out for a spin, you know, do the tutorial and stuff like that, and I was completely shocked because it's nothing like the Long Dark in that regard. It is actually very similar to a resource management game. Think of something like an FTL, an Out There, where essentially we're going down quote-unquote nodes, we'll call them, right? And we're making decisions along the way that will either help us gather resources, use up resources to continue living, or stuff that will hinder our overall progress. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margot said to travel to the end of the road, and then hop on the sled, and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's, uh, not as helpful as I'd like. But it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but... I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Gale, Finn, Iggy, Noodle. And the sled is all ready to go. Well, we've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Okay. Well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Okay, we have a decision here. Mush on, let's go on way. I think we uh, say mush. Mush on! Hey, get, get off of the, the snow. We're, we're, we're going already. Doggo, he's over there sliding. You saw that on his side? Okay, so I guess we're finally underway. I'm gonna give you a little bit of background as to what's happening here. There's a very long introduction to this game. So I cut that off because otherwise now we'd have been here, here for we don't good. Say left and right. We use ha for left and g for right. So let's go. Ha for left, g for right. Okay, sure. By the way, I couldn't help but notice that the map is apparently a kids menu from a freaking restaurant. Look, they just drew, they drew, <laughs> they drew the map on it. Let's go right, maybe towards fish country. We could do a little bit of fishing or something. So let's go g. G. Okay, so we're running oh, up on. You can't see that. It's a caribou. A caribou. I knew that exactly. Let's hunt. <laughs> we need food to survive, Best right? What can I say? Stay there. I'm a little bit upset about this, but hey, what can you do? Slow it. Ooh, right in the dome piece. She's an caribou. amazing shot. We appreciate you. Now for the part I like less. I'll meet you back at the sled pups. We, uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Okay. Here you can eat meat, filling your hunger meter. Perfect. So yeah, like, it also feels like the, the voice acting is fairly natural. It doesn't feel like it's somebody reading lines off script. This is me, human, talking to you. So that's a very good welcome as well. So honestly, so far, pretty intriguing. You can use the dog bow to feed your dogs filling their energy up. Okay, well so far they've only dropped one segment, so maybe they uh, they survive better out here than stinking human does. As you can sleep, restoring maximum capacity loss by being tired. Maximum capacity lost, huh? Okay. So, let's see how this works out. Get back in the trail. Pet Chomper, we always got a pet dog. Oh, that better not cost me any time or energy. I just want to pet my dog. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Dog, oh, he's so adorable. Get out of here, you. Stop it. We got a game to play. Sorry, you guys don't get any love. Only Chomper does, apparently. Oh, no, we can't pet him. Good. Good. I can't take the time doing this, though, dog, so I'm sorry, but it is what it is. So that's how we feed the dogs. 
Use med pack. Check out fire pit. Um, okay. Well, we are definitely hungry. Do I have to... Fire would be nice. Start fire with birch? Yes. How much okay, birch do we have? Just a little birch bark, a little spark, and behold, fire. We have one left. Okay, so that's going to be the birch thing. Gotcha. Um, now I would like to I'm ready cook. to cook some food. Yes. We have six of meat. Not too bad. We're putting one down over here. I That'll fill us up to two. I'm thinking, you know, let's just um, go the full Monty here. Just kind of fill it up for the most part. That should be good. I can't imagine this woman eating all this food right now, but it's a different environment. It's very cold. Maybe you get extra hungry here. Who knows? All right. Not too bad. I think so far we've done pretty good. We've already spent one bullet. We have two left, apparently, so... Should probably save those for dangerous things like bears, probably. Although I'm not really sure if we'll be able to take down a bear with like one bullet, but... Might as well have something in our name. We have a rabbit a here. Delicacy. What do you think, pups? I mean, no, we'll leave that one be. Go do your thing, Too bun. Small. Too small. We're not gonna waste a bullet on a little rabbit. Caribou different thing. Gave us a lot of good stuff here. Now we could probably pick up some more birch over here along these trees. That could be good. Let me look at my map, by the way. Oh, doggos are fairly tired. Okay, we're gonna have to camp it out here pretty soon, boys. You have an event coming up? No? All right, I'm gonna stop you here, boys. I'm certain I read that owls are good omens. Or uh, wait. Did, did they mean certain dead? I don't know. Sounds sure. pretty good to me. What do you pups think? Noodle, like, trust what you want to do. Noodle, let, 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 don't leave me astray, buddy. Yeah, all it is. Let's go, Noodle. Ah, oh, good omen. That's what we needed, team. What do we think it'll lead us to? So we've some birch. It's a good start. Ooh. Watch the owl. Maybe it wants us to eat it. Maybe it wants us to eat it. That's exactly what's going through that bird's mind. You know what I think right now? If that human just devoured me. That'd be a great idea for today. Take the bark from birch tree. Yes, I want that. That'll be our campfire right there alone. Ugh, why is bark so hard to rip off? Now, if we could possibly kill that bird too. No, we can't kill the bird afterwards. That's shit. Thanks for waiting, pups. We can start a fire at camp now. That's what I wanted to do before to you go? put me into this event. Hit C again. Camp. Boys camp. Should we camp? There we go. Yes. We All right. should be able to take care of ourselves here. Now then. Um, doggos, let's go ahead and feed dogs for sure. They don't need to be cooked for the Good dogs, time. apparently. Chow down, pups. Uh, how much of the food you're telling me? Oh my god. So um, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out of food, dogs. Do you do you understand this? I'm out to feed you. All right. Well, let's get back on the trail. Back on the trail. And hopefully find Let's something else to murder and tear apart for some food, because, uh... We're completely out now, boys. I'm hoping this ice is stable. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, I'm very... I was coming here to hopefully fish, you know, crack the ice open, do a little bit of fishing. Don't really have gear for it, I don't think, but, you know. It's a video game, it'll make it up for us, but apparently not. Hmm. Let's go... Alright, where to now you're staying? I think we gotta go left, right? Because if we keep going right, we'll go into bear country. Huh. Let's go left here. And we do need an event pretty soon for food, because puppers are getting hungry again, or at least tired. We are gonna rest them. I'll probably sleep next time and not feed them. Oh, jeez! Look out! What is Stay happening? Back. Why is this monster attacking us? Shoot it for food! Can't shoot now. What do you mean you can't shoot now? Shoot it in the head. Nikki! I said stay back! Shoot it! Oh. Oh god! You okay, girl? Iggy would always oh, protect you. Hurt, girl. But we can fix that up. Just ride in the sled for a bit. The team will be okay. We got four food out of it. 
It's okay. Get in the sled. You don't need oh, to Oh, he's hurt. Oh, no. Why you gotta pull in my heartstrings this way? Another it's meal, a ready to go. Whoa. We've got one bullet left. At least we've already got some food. Yeah. It worked out pretty good in that regard. I mean, the dog's hurt. I'm not sure how it's gonna impact this going forward. I thought things were going to plan. I really did, but now... I'm not so sure. I didn't even know that muskox were out here, and, and they don't care about what happens to us at all. This might be too much for us, but how do you know when something is actually for you? We can conquer whatever is out there. We'll find our way. We'll our instincts find our way. have gotten us this far. Look at what we've already done. Now, I was hoping... No, that's not it. There's a journal that we could bring up that logs information. So you know how we occur we saw the frozen lake and we saw the forest that logged it on the screen for us? We could log information. I just don't know how to bring that up here. I've only seen it in the main menu, so maybe it's only a main menu thing. It said Iggy will always protect you. I wonder if that's one of the traits for that dog in particular. Speaking of which, if the dogs are tired, we should probably rest no matter what, huh? Yeah. There are so many tree stumps over there. Oh. Oh, birch. Yeah, check it out. I saw an axe, too. I'd feel a lot more comfortable if it didn't just feel like people disappeared here. Well, there's an axe here. Yeah, I'll take it. I am just going to, uh, take this. Oh yeah, the owner's gonna have a problem with it. Oh, you know, we left it out there. That's my location where I leave my axe all the time. How dare you steal it? Yo. Gathering wood at an axe doesn't cost hunger. Yo, all right. I don't think they'll mind. The most useful tool in the world, finders key for supplies, right? Of course. Uh, I kind of feel like maybe I'm just rationalizing theft. But if I don't take it, someone else will, right? Well, should I try this out? Seems to be plenty of birch here. That is exactly rationalizing theft after that. If, no, if I don't take it, somebody else will. No phone is lost. No more pulling birch off of that. Perfect. That's so much easier than ripping this off by hand. Looks like we're done here. Now, let us camp as I wanted to. Did we get two for a two? Yeah, we did. Sled, pups. This birch will really help. Let's go, Chopper. Camp. Don't go, just camp. I wonder if it matters where you camp on the map, too. I don't know how we do this without you, Igloo. You put the team before yourself every time. I'm gonna try to be as good as you. Let's take a break. I was smashing on C, but sure. You have become tired. While tired, the capacity of your hunger and your dog's energy meter is reduced. You can sleep at the camp to remove this effect. Well, that's what I wanted to do anyway, so that's fine. Perfect. Take so, a break, pups. One of the things I've noticed is that obviously, because we're tired, we lost some of the segments, but we also were lacking some after um, Noodle went down, right? So that also hurt us quite a bit. Can I check out my journal here? No. It's gotta be a key for it, but God knows what it is. Hey, buddy. How you holding up? Oh, the med kid! Right. Tend to wounds with the med pack. In comfort. Tend to the wounds. There you go, Igloo. If my doggo is hurt, we gotta fix her up. Look at that, we got all over a second. That's perfect. And now, we definitely want to go to sleep. Should we put a fire while we sleep? Not sure if we have to do that or not, or just a benefit to Might it. Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? Sure. Six hours pass. We have four food afterwards. I think we'll drop two and two. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. Now, rolling at nighttime, probably not the best idea of a day. But hey, we got our doggo back up and running, so hopefully it's fine. Looks really awesome at nighttime as well. It's slightly dangerous, too. Heading right into the bear Chopper, country, by the way. Don't get any bad ideas. You already have one, don't you? Is that a skunk? What in the... Follow them? Sure. Oh, the I'm skunk. I'm really thankful you're not hunting me right now. I thought I was like, follow the birds. Watch and see what happens. Hunt the stunk. Hunt the skunk. Hunt the owl. Try to talk it out? Try to talk it out with the with the skunk. Watch and see what happens. I'm gonna watch and see what happens. I don't want to use any of my less bullets to hunt a skunk or an owl. Your self-defense mechanism is more powerful than I thought. 
Uh, oh. oh no, it skunked oh, me. Taste it. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Chomper, get me out of here. Get me out of here, pups. Skunks have great defense. Okay, I'm back. Let's be safe out there. That caused me a uh, hunger, didn't it? Damn it. So I guess any event costs hunger, so you definitely gotta be worrisome about that. But I think we just got another part of our journal filled out here. Okay. Well, I'm gonna show you this journal that I keep talking about. Once we're done with the video, I'm gonna go to the main menu and show you what I'm talking about. But it, it logs everything and it logs like dog treats something too. Something out there. Something out there. You know what? Oh, God. Dogs only have one hunger meter left. Check it out. Okay, what Ooh. do we have here? We definitely needed some more bandages. Definitely take that. Hey, pups. See another marker coming up. Over Let's be there. safe out there. We definitely want to go left on that one. Unless, you know what? Maybe we go right, we'll go right into the, the bears. This is mostly just an experimental run, so I don't, don't mind if I die because I'm just learning the, the game, road. but. Or two. You know, I could see a bear before this video's Gee. over. That's fine. Doesn't seem like we're getting too much farther anyway. Dogs are tired. We have no food. We only have one bullet. So theoretically speaking, I do need a bear. Something huge to hunt right now for food. There's something out there. Yep. Oh, that tree is uh, it shaking. Like it could be a big meal. A big meal. So we're definitely still here. Oh my God! It's a terrifying moose. We definitely want that, though. Come here, buddy. Okay. Potentially a very big meal. I like it. Definitely. I have to imagine it's yes! timed. Yeah, like, if I don't shoot it after a while, it probably books it. We'll take what we can. I'm sure someone else will get the rest. Six! Yo! That was that big! Was that was huge! Another meal ready to go. Awesome. All right, that's gonna load yeah, us up quite well. Pups. Yeah, I know. We're gonna feed them. We feed ourselves. That was the meal. That was our last bullet. That's terrifying Let's too. Go, sure. We'll um, make a camp at the next safe spot. Okay. Oh, so there's spots Let's actually camp. So even if you hit C, I guess apparently it's a couple of feet ahead was a safe spot. This gotcha. is a good spot to rest. All right, doggos, you will be first. We're not sleeping. We're just definitely going to keep going even in the nighttime. Food time. Chow down, pups. So we got seven, right? Very good. I'm going to hit you guys up with, at the very least, let's go halfway. Sure. And I'm going to have the last two. We'll be out of food again, but at least we'll have, um, you know, we have to stop by anywhere anytime soon and rest again. So that's for you. Do I have... Uh, oh, nice. Okay, just a little birch bark, a yeah. little spark, and behold, fire. We have one left, and we're cooking the last two meats, unless it gives us up to a three with one. I'm ready to cook some food. If it food. does, then I think we we'll just need one. Yeah, actually, that's fine. That's fine. You know what? I think we'll save one, just in case. You know, I would always keep that lower one in case we're into a bear, maybe lowered away or something. Is that a mechanic? I don't know. I'm just making it up in my mind, but... Doggo right there, Finn kind of scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Just saw his glaring eyes and I thought, oh my god, a wolf's creeping up on us here. Alright, uh, I think we've gone long enough. I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. I'm gonna show you guys that journal, though. So I hope that this saves it here for me in case we decide to do more. You guys let me know. We can come back and continue from this point. Okay, so here is our journal. This is what I've been mentioning here thus far. So this kind of logs all the stuff that we've done. So the to-do, revise, go to Alaska, hop on a sled, supply, so... Essentially, our goal here is to apparently finish the dogs that race once we get to the red cavern. And this is don't make make a plan. Don't be afraid to explore. We've done all the beauty we can see. Pay attention to everything and the big ones too. Packing list: four bullets, three food thus far. And I guess we just continue filling stuff out over here. The natural beauty. So the lake that we saw, the forest. Fed the pups a feast for dog kings. And this will tell us about the animals here. Now, is there? The skunk bombs are very effective. And this tells us about, like, the animals here that we can learn about them. Interesting. Well, there you guys have it. This has been the Red Lantern. All the information for this will be down below. If you want to see some more, you know exactly what to do. So far, pretty fun. Really cool little narrative, um, resource management game. 
I'll catch you guys next time.